Hi y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys my October TBR. Now for October, um, it's kind of be going to be like a crazy month because I'm doing a, it's called fall into your TBR challenge. And I did this back in 2017 when I joined the book club I'm in on Facebook, We Be Booking. Um, it was super fun when I joined it back then, and I'm really glad that they brought it back. So basically it is, you they give you a list of fall words to spell, and you have to find a book that fits that letter. So that's basically how um, the TBR challenge for October will be. I'm also doing um, the bookstagram challenges like I've been doing um, for the past couple years. So you guys will get to see those photos that I will be posting on Facebook and Instagram. Um, if you do see them, make sure to give me a like or a heart or anything. Um, just let me know if you like them or not. Um, I'm trying to do more aesthetic um bookstagram photos um it's not really working out as I would like because I don't have as many prompts as I'd like to use for those photos but I'm working on that so I'm going to show you guys my TBR I have books that I am going to read this month and then I have extras that I'm going to read um I won't show you the ones that I will be rereading because those are basically books that if I get through all of my piles for this month then I will read those ones but I'm going to start off October with A Respectable Trade by Philippa Gregory this will be my first book reading by her um, I've never read a Philippa Gregory book before um, I have a couple cousins who really say that her books are amazing to read so I'm really looking forward to reading this one this one is set in Bristol in 1787 I think that's Bristol Virginia but I'm not totally positive because there's other towns in states named Bristol. Um, but it's basically about slavery and um, it talks about that and what these people go through. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. It's set before the Civil War, which and it's after the Revolutionary War, so it's kind of in between. I've never read a book in between Revolutionary War and the Civil War, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. The next one I'll be reading, which is a thriller and will be my first one by this author, is Touch and Go by Lisa Gardner. This is my first time reading it. It says it's a psychological thriller, so I'm really looking forward to this one. It's basically about a family that vanishes and then um, this woman makes her marriage disappear, and then she tries to erase her life and start a new life. So I'm really looking forward to this one. This one sounds really good, um, and hopefully I'll like it. Next one I'll be reading will be The Pursuit by Lori Wick. This is a romance. It's basically about a man that goes on an adventure to Africa with his brother, but when his brother has to return to England and the other brother is hoping to be home for Christmas, things don't go as planned. So I'm really looking forward to reading this and seeing how that turns out. Next one I'll be reading that I was supposed to read last year but I didn't get to is Greenwich Park by Katherine Faulkner. This one is a thriller as well. It came out in January of this year and it's basically about this woman that thinks she has an idealistic life she has a handsome architect husband, lives in a gorgeous Victorian home, and has a cherished baby on the way after years of trying. And she begins to change the, um, things begin to change during the day with her prenatal class and all that. And then she meets this woman that she becomes friends with, and then this woman tries to do things to her and her husband and to her baby. So I'm really looking forward to finding out how that will turn out. The next one I'll be reading will be Mrs. Witherspoon Goes to War by Mary Davis. It's a historical fiction set during World War II. I was supposed to read this last month, but I did not get to it, so I'm hoping to read it this month. Next one I'll be reading, I was supposed to read last year, is The Morning After by Rochelle B. Weinstein. Um, she actually, I won a giveaway through her newsletter um, email thing. 
and she autographed this for me. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I was going to read it last year, but since it talks about death and all that, I didn't after I um, had to go through my dad's um, passing last year. So I kept putting it off, putting it off, but I'm hoping to read this. It might help me cope a little more. I have read a bunch of books who help that help me cope with my dad being gone. So I'm really hoping that one will as well. Next one I'll be reading will be A Cozy Mystery, Death Among Rubies by R.J. Coretto. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, This one I'm really looking forward to. It's basically like a Victorian era cozy mystery. So I'm hoping to read this one this month and hopefully I will like it. The next one I'll be reading, which I requested from North Atlantic Books that I review books for them, um, is Missing Witches. Um, Recovering True Histories of Feminist Magic. Um, this one I requested earlier this year, and I'm really looking forward to reading this. Um, this normally is not a genre that I would read about because it's about witchcraft, pa paganism, and feminism. I normally don't read about that, but the cover looks so pretty that I thought I would give it a try. So hopefully I'll like it. The next one I'll be reading, which I was supposed to read last month, is The Sugar Creek Surprise by Wandy Brunstetter. This is an Amish fiction book, and this is set in um, Ohio, Walnut Creek, Ohio, where Amish country is. This is book two, I think. Yeah, book two in this series. I have not read book one yet. But if I will be reading this one this month, I do hope to read book one before I read this one. Next one is The Last Goodbye by Kate Martin. This one is, I think it's a mystery thriller. I'm not sure. I won this um, through um, Kensington um, Publishers. They had a giveaway in their email newsletter, so I entered it and I ended up winning. So I really hope I can um, read this one this month. The last two planned reads for October are The Change by Kristen Miller and Remembering Stardust by C.D. Baker. This one I won through Library Thing back in August, so I'm really hoping I can get to this one and post my review on there this month. And this one I won through Goodreads a few months ago, and I'm really hoping to read it this month so I can just... Get it out of the way, see if I like it. If I don't, then I will be either selling it or on pangobooks.com or I will be donating it to my local used bookstore. Okay, those are the books I plan to read for this month. Now, the ones that I have extras of are Once Upon a Dream by Liz Bradwell. The Resting Place by Camilla Stein. Moonlight Becomes You by Mary Higgins Clark. The Melody Lingers On by Mary Higgins Clark. Let Me Whisper in Your Ear by Mary Jane Clark. I don't know if that's a relation to Mary Higgins Clark, but um, since they are just Clarks, I just put them together like that. Um, the Messy Lives of Book People by... Flardra Patrick. I wanted to read this one last month because my book club friend Logan Turner, she gifted this to me for my birthday back in July. Well, I was hoping to get to it. I didn't get to it. So I'm hoping October is the month that I'll be able to read this. If not, I'm hoping November. Otherwise, I'll just have to push it back to next year. Next one I'll be reading, Nancy Drew the Curse by Michael. Asto, I really wanted to read this one for the longest time. I got this at Ollie's back in August. I'm really hoping to read this one because I just love, I love the Nancy Drew book series from the 70s and I love the TV show that the CW has been airing the past few years. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one and seeing if this is actually based on the TV show or not. Next one will be Miriam's Song by Jill Aline or Jill Elaine Smith, Blood Magic by Nora Roberts. If some of you remember, I read books one and two in this series last year. I just haven't gotten to book three. Um, Inhuman Acts by Brooke L. French, 
Body Awake by Erica Holnertel. This one um, I really want to read because um, it's from North Atlantic Books and I know they want my review and this one just sounds really interesting about being aware of your body, symptoms you have, things you're eating and all that. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Plus I know my friend Erica that I went to school with, she's been asking me about this book a couple times when we've been talking and um, I know that she's anxious to know my thoughts on this, so I'm really hoping to read this one in October. And my last three are Harpy's Lullaby by N.B. Saltzman, The Prince of Dragons by Tamari Etherton, and this one that I won on Bookish First website, How to Succeed in Witchcraft by Aislin Brothy. Those are all the books I plan to read for October, but as we know, each month is never predictable. Each month, you know, I plan reads and then I end up reading other things because of a reading challenge I'm doing or whatnot. So I'm really hoping to read those this month. Um, I guess that's it for now. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Um, I will have two more videos up after this one. I'll be doing a fall book tag, which I thought looked really fun. That's been going around on YouTube. So I'll be posting that probably on October 2nd or 3rd. I'm not positive. I want to film it today or tomorrow, but I'm not sure with my schedule on that. Um, also, I will be doing a bookish october video i got two books from the bookish um october that i signed up for and i'm hoping to film those tomorrow october 1st for um to post to um social media because the authors um request that so i'm hoping to do that and then i'll just post the video on my booktube channel for you all to see um i think that's it for now I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. I hope October is good to you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.